What's up YouTube viewers and welcome. Welcome to yet another DIY vlog. As you can see, I'll be doing another episode of me painting some shoes. So I just got these shoes in. I'm not sure if I put this particular video up first or not. More than likely I did. And as you guys can see, I'm already thinking about painting them already. So what I'm gonna do is, if you can see, it goes up like that, back and forth. So what I'm thinking about doing is painting this part black and leaving the upper part white. You know, let me, let me let me know what y'all think about that. Either way it goes, I'm gonna do that. But I just wanna know what you guys think about that. And then we'll put like a part going around like that. Boom, circle around, and then continue it going, going up and down. So yeah, that's gonna look pretty dope, in my opinion. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of all white shoes. Uh, I kinda thought they was kinda like more of a creamy color. Kinda like the other shoes that I wanted, but this had more red on it. I wanted some shoes that had a little bit of red up on it, so. I'm still gonna get the other ones too. And also get my son a pair of these shoes cause he like them as well. Not this particular color, he like the blue ones. And as you can see inside the shot, these are my other shoes I did inside my DIY vlog. You know, came out pretty decent. I ended up painting this part black. Last time that part was in black. And if you wanna know how it looks without the paint job, there it is. I still gotta do this pair of shoes right here. But here's this one. Not gonna wear this yet until Valentine's Day. You know, let's get started.
So I finished one shoe and as you guys can see, it makes the shoe look way better. It makes it look like a whole different shoe. And it also, not only does it do that, it also protects it from dirt and everything like that because the shoe is all white, you know, and the soles is all white. So by adding the black at the bottom, it helps it, you know, look nice for a longer period of time. These last few uh, shoe painting videos have really got me wanting to really, really, really continue to do this shoe painting stuff because I really, really love it. You know, um, you never know what you're going to like and what you're going to be good at until you try it. There's a few little touch ups I got to do on this shoe before I start on the second shoe and add one more coat is two coats on here. Add one more, one super, super light one. Um, but as far as these videos, I only do one shoe inside the video. I feel like there's really no point in me doing both shoes in the video. After doing one shoe, you already get the point of, you know, you get the concept. But I do have more shoes I want to paint. I do have uh, ideas for other colors I want to buy and add to, you know, different shoes. And when it comes to me doing stuff like this, like even when it comes to like I, I, I customize my uh, denim jeans as well. I take them in if they're too big and I add uh, sewn in creases. So when it comes to me buying stuff, that changes the way I look at things when I go out to go shop because now I look at shoes differently. I look at it as, now I don't look at it as, oh, this shoe don't match the shirt that I want it to match or it don't match certain things I want it to match. Now I can look at a shoe and be like, hey, I can turn this into something else. You know, that's kind of how the t type of person I am. That's why I'm into filming because I, could you, you can take an image, film something, and just turn it into something amazing by adding music, color, and just certain angles. So thank you guys for watching my latest DIY vlog video of my shoe painting. And if you like the video, thank you, thank you for that. Really, really appreciate it, and it really, really does help. With that being said, stay safe and sanitized out there. Stay helping each other out, and catch you guys in the next video. Peace.